Welcome to our weekend vlog. Starting off strong. I forgot my vlog camera, so sorry. We're on my phone. We both got omelets. We're at a diner right now. Oh yeah, oh and of course, pancakes on the side. We did it. Wow, starting off the weekend strong. We are back from our little diner, brunch, breakfast, lunch, brunch date. And look at our setup right now. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? You guys, whenever I make our bed all cute with all my nice pillows, Brody jumps on top of them, cuddles up, and is like really cozy like it's like his bed, brings his toys, and I'm like, you are just crushing all these pillows. Hi, yes, hi. So we're cuddling up and having a little lazy Saturday. You have been so lazy recently. Like so sleepy. Look at him. Oh, are you licking my eye? Mm -hmm. You guys, we are gonna watch. <laughs> He's so cute in this moment. We're going to watch Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. That's what it's called, right? Marvelous mm -hmm. Mrs. Maisel. Because you guys actually, one of you commented that we should watch it, and I remembered. And I'm always like looking for new shows. So if you have any shows we have to watch, comment down below. Because I'm always curious. Boy, mm. wow, this is what dreams are made of when you actually cuddle with us. He looks huge right now. Mm -hmm. I like how his whole back half is like buried in yeah. the pillows. Yeah, we've been watching Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, long story short. And it's like not what I thought it was going to be at all by like the title. I don't know, but it's so good. I've been very into it and I keep wanting to see like what's next. It's like set back in like the 1950s and I don't know, I feel like I just... It's just really interesting. Like, I always want to know what's going to happen next, so. No, don't go. Ow, don't leave. Ow. <laughs> it looks like eyelids, like in a movie. Mm -hmm. You guys, my eyelids covered. It's so messed up. There we go. Oh, no. I think it's all the way open now. But I didn't even tell them the reason why we're so tired and need a lazy, sleepy Saturday because we went to Orange Theory this morning and it was so hard. Like, we were already saying our legs and arms are already so sore. So I feel like we just need a moment to like relax, watch a little episode. <laughs> Brody did, Brody's in his great now, making all sorts of noise. Then I have to be productive since we're leaving for the Cape tomorrow. This is gonna be like packing vlog. Getting my legs together. What is wrong Look with that Look at him, boy. you guys. Brody! He's obsessed with his cream. All right, I had to show you guys. I feel like I haven't used my Nespresso in so long, but I just made the yummiest, like, hot chai latte. I don't know how I was feeling the hot vibe since it's so hot out, but I've had such a sleepy day, and it's the afternoon already, so I need to wake up because I need to do things before we leave for Cape Cod tomorrow, like packing laundry, stuff like that. Also, just change into the comfiest little, like, aloe cozy set, which is not... Good. I'm gonna be too cozy and I'm gonna like fall back asleep. I just wanted to be in a cozy vibe for laundry, cleaning, packing, things like that. I've actually been cleaning a bunch just now. I feel like, does anyone else feel like the cleaning never ends? Like there's always something you could do. You could always vacuum again or do the mirrors. Like I was cleaning the mirrors, clean the shower, clean. Like there's always cleaning to do. And even when I make my bed all nice in the morning, all messed up with toy ducks and toy bones from your dog. Then this happens. <laughs> I tried. That's all that matters. I was just gonna say Brody and I were eating at the same time, but then you just finished eating your kibble. I just looked back at that clip. I'm happy I did. There was like a black spot here and here. My mascara must have stuck to my eyelids. It never does that. It's so weird. Or I just missed it. I always get it all over my eyelids when I do it, and then I wipe it off with a Q-tip, and Max always likes to say, you have mascara on your eyelids, and I'm like, I know, it's there. I'm gonna take it off. I haven't forgotten. What? Maybe I did forget because there was like a black chunk there and there. Okay, look what I have to show you. I've been so into making homemade tabbouleh. It is not the easiest thing, but I've gotten better at it thanks to Max because you got me a, ve a vegetable chopper, right? That's what it's called. He is washing his golf clubs right there. What I was trying to say, you guys, I really have been loving tabbouleh. Oh, what I was saying is Max got me a vegetable chopper, long story short, and it made it a lot easier to make it because before I was chopping up my cucumbers, green onion, parsley, tomatoes. Cutting them up this small was like hurting my hand and taking so long, but the vegetable chopper helps a lot. And then we had to track down, wait, what is this called again? Something wheat, not buckwheat. Bulgur wheat, you're buck, right. Buckwheat. 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 
<laughs> Buck beaks from Harry Potter. Anyway, this is called bulgur wheat. I am, this is all over the place. We had to track it down at Wegmans, but that's how you make homemade tabbouleh, or at least the recipe I looked up. I can link it down below for you guys. I think I mentioned this once in a vlog before, but I just want to tell you I've been so into it, and you really should try it, because it's so good to throw in salads right now. I'm literally eating with a spoon, which is kind of gross, but this is a leftover, so it's allowed. And yesterday we had the yummiest salads you over any lettuce, a bunch of hummus, you can do dressing too. It's so so good. I actually got a bunch of DMs from you guys saying like one was so sweet. She said she like grew up with this as like a staple in her household. It tastes so fresh, we were saying yesterday, right? You right. get some veggies. So golfer max in action. So I just want to show you guys. Share a new little fun recipe. We have been loving. Have you been liking it too, sir? It's good in a salad in all sorts of ways, on top of bread. You could do like a romaine leaf and make it like a lettuce wrap type of thing. Mm -hmm. We've just done it on like mixed greens or romaine with like hummus like I said. Or you could do a spoon. This is reminding me. Lucy would get this every day when she lived in Paris and she studied abroad. She'd always get a container of tabbouleh, which also I need to find like pre-made tabbouleh around here and like try different restaurants that I can just like buy pre-made, you know? She would do that with like a baguette and just eat it on top. And like that sounds so good too. But also with a spoon, you can't go wrong. And then it's so good to just like grab in your fridge for lunch or whatever. Save the leftovers. Also, I wanted to do like a little unboxing moment for you guys, but I opened it already. Is my camera doing the weird line thing? I feel like it is right now. This I already got a little bit ago from Truff, but we're using up the other one in the fridge, so this is in here. But I just got a package. I went crazy if you guys saw my Instagram story recently. I ordered so much. It was quite an expensive order, but so worth it because we love their hot sauce so much. This is just the black hot sauce. I didn't even open any of them. I ordered three of them. <laughs> I stocked up because we go through it so quick. And then also we haven't tried their truffle oil yet. Wait, let me open it. So here is the truffle oil, which I'm so excited to see in person. I haven't seen it yet, but I saw it on there and I'm like, oh, we could put this on so many things. It'd be so good. We're just obsessed with like truffle in general, truffle flavor. Here is the best hot sauce. This is like the original one, I think. And then the red one is like a little bit more spicy. I really like that one too, because I like really spicy, but Max likes this one better. And then they have the white truffle, which is so good. This is like not sponsored by them. I'm just obsessed with Trev, so I thought this would be fun to show you guys what I spend my money on. Trevel hot sauce. And I'm realizing this is so disorganized. I'm sorry if this is like sweet potatoes, my cocktail freeze pops I like, and more Trev. Okay, so we also got their Trev pasta sauce, which is so, so good. There's two more in here. Load it up because I think you can only get this on their website. Like the hot sauce I find at Whole Foods, but I haven't seen the pasta sauce anywhere else other than their website. I had to make like a big bulk order. You guys need to try this. It's so good. Maybe I was in No, no, no. We're not doing that, I said. Oh. Do you listen to anything I say or does it just go in one ear and out the other? I'm realizing my entire vlog today has been food. The diner, tabbouleh, <laughs> truff, <this. laughs> But we just made HelloFresh little tacos. Look at how good they looked. I just had to tell you guys. Sorry, it's only been food today. I'm gonna be more productive. Well, I have to be tomorrow. And actually pack since we're leaving tomorrow. See ya in the morning. Good morning, you guys. It is Sunday morning. I feel like already <laughs> highly stressed and just anxious since we're leaving today. This has started for me, I think honestly ever since COVID and like traveling again or like any sort of plans seems like the biggest deal for me and I always try to avoid this, but still the day that I'm leaving or the day before, I just get all stressed about it. Like especially having my own apartment, I just, I know it's all in my head and it's just mental, but I feel like there's so many things I have to do before I have to leave. Like I wanna come back to a clean apartment, you have to take out the trash, you have to run the dishwasher, everything has to be in its place, you have to make sure you have everything with the dog, we need all of his things, Max needs all of his things, I need all of mine things still haven't packed which makes me like feel like I can't breathe but it's okay we're gonna get there and we'll be on the road everything's gonna be okay I need this pep talk for a moment I need a deep breath I also just feel like this has started for me too like I used to just travel and come and go so carefree like no big deal but I think because I traveled obviously so much less just during the pandemic traveling now seems like the biggest deal does anyone get that way or like the night before I slept 
horrible last night i woke up so early and just laid in bed for like hours because i wanted to go back to sleep but i couldn't because i was all anxious because i knew there was so much to do for me to leave today and i just feel like nights before something important like leaving for somewhere and you have to pack or do things or get up early get things done i just do not sleep well anyway just want to say that if anyone like relates to me on that and this was a good chat because i'm freaking out over here and feel like i'm running out of time but right now we're going to be productive and we're going to pack up Brody's food i'm just going to pour some of this big bag oh man out into our little smaller travel bag that we have for him whenever we're on the go for his food if you guys didn't know brody just does the solid gold kibble he does the hunden flocken because that's just good for a big breed, you know, like him, golden retriever. And it's just really high quality dog food. So amazing. Wanted to make sure I told you guys about it. If you have dogs or cats too, honestly, because they have cat food and dog food, they just have really high quality pet food, holistic. And I just feel like I really align with their values. I know they're the first holistic pet food company started in America. It's so huge. We literally, I know we get this auto shipped on Chewy. If you guys have a dog and you don't get their food auto shipped on Chewy, you need to because it's just so much easier and Brody goes through so much of it obviously and i know i've talked about this before but he really struggles with environmental allergies i feel like that happens to a lot of dogs right now specifically it's like a golden thing it's very common with golden i love that solid gold kibble just really helps support his immune system which will help fight off his environmental allergies you know what else i grabbed of course this is happening right before we're traveling which is just not ideal but if you catch my drift you know what i'm saying he's been having some digestion issues in the past day so i just grabbed these are from solid gold and these help so much with his digestion so these are just really good to get his digestion back to normal i know there's probiotics in here superfoods are just like soft little chewables i'll give him two of these typically after he has his breakfast which he just did so i'm gonna give him two i'm gonna be so excited because i think he just thinks they're treats that they taste really good but they're really helpful for him so especially if your dog is having digestion issues i know this is so specific but if you guys have dog these are like a lifesaver and so helpful i know his kibble also also has superfoods and probiotics which are so good for him just like they are for us i know my link for solid gold has stayed the same so if you guys want to save 30 percent on select solid gold products you go to solidgoldpet.com slash gretchen for all my dog parents out there cat parents just want to tell you guys about solid gold if you haven't heard about them before since it's so good for brody and i just love everything about them since it's such high quality food for him and brody is literally my baby i did so much research into what i'm putting into his body you guys he knows Mr. Sleepy over here, sit. Oh, that's a lay down. Come on, sit. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Can you do paw? <gasps> paw. Oh, good boy. <laughs> this is hard because you're laying on a bed. Can you touch? <gasps> that was so good. There you go. <laughs> I know you want more breakfast. Look at these paws on the counter. It's like you have no manners. Now you want more breakfast, but you already had your breakfast. Okay, this is done. Sigh of relief. Your food is packed for the week. Thank goodness. All right, here goes nothing, you guys. Packing. Does anyone else struggle so hard with packing? Like, I just set out all of these clothes and bathing suits, shoes. This isn't even including, like, my technology, Brody. No makeup, like, cosmetics, like, toiletries. How am I going to fit? Like, I'm not even going to end up working out every day, but I tell myself I'm going to. So I have to pick out kind of clothes, like, cute little sets for each. Okay, so we got... The cheetah, black sports bra, obviously need three of those. Orange set, green sports bra, okay. I'm already noticing too many workout stuff. Lulu skirt, Lulu shorts, two black leggings because one doesn't seem like enough. Two white pants because one doesn't seem like enough. These white jeans I need to wear again, they're so cute. They're like little flary jeans. This is going horribly, my heart's pounding. Why am I so anxious? I need to go do those. CBD drops that Lucy gave me. She said they hold kind of hard because I can make all the ex excuses. Like I need 10 bathing suits because the beach. Like this peachy bathing suit, little cover up. New bathing suit I just bought needs to come. Cute bathing suit, tan neutral bathing suit. This cheetah one piece I've always wanted to wear, which like, am I gonna wear? Because I haven't before. I'm not okay. I feel like everything I just showed you, I did in the packing. I cut down. I'm feeling better since that was like way too much. I'm going for a week. Week. and this needs to be all my clothes because this needs to fit my toiletries and my shoes which i don't even know if that's gonna fit i have to get another bag for like my laptop camera all that jazz feels so weird is this like legal right now to be like 
<laughs> showing you this. Basically, my sister just showed me these CBD drops. It's like oil that you put on your tongue. Last time I was home, we were talking about how like anxious we get and we wake up feeling like there's like a weight on our chest and it's crazy that we both feel that way. I'm so not, since we're just being really open right here, I'm so not a smoker. Like I'm just not a weed gal, just like not for me, but obviously this isn't that. I feel like everyone knows that about CBD now. It's just CBD, not THC, right? All that other stuff. You guys know better than I do. I guess comment down below if you have any experience with CBD because I've done it like the amount of times I can count on one hand, like a handful of times. And I feel like it just makes me feel a little bit more present. But then I'm also like, is it just in my head that I'm thinking that because I'm doing it? Let's do it together so we can chill. <laughs> Recap. I don't know why this feels like I'm doing drugs right now. I'm just gonna be like, why are you acting? <laughs> why are you okay? Whenever I do it, I'm like, woo, I'm drunk. Which, like, obviously, that's just, I'm not okay. That's not what it is at all in my head. That's like what it would be. I'm just like a minty flavor. Um, but yeah, all I know is it's supposed to help with anxiety and i know it has like all sorts of other benefits probably pain relief if you're someone with like chronic pain that kind of thing anyway <laughs> i am going to grab my toiletries and chargers i always forget chargers grab my other bag that i can put my laptop tech stuff in food finish brody's bag we got his food but like toys treats little travel bowls so we can have water in the car oh how we're just like being real for a moment <laughs> I'm like we're taking this together because I need someone to like be here with me because it's so new to me I'm still like afraid but I'm gonna do that we're gonna get on the road <laughs> hi it's the next day on the Cape now I apologize yesterday was a bit of a mess a little bit of a nightmare I did not vlog anymore because my head was just like not in a good place yesterday but i updated on my instagram story if you guys follow my instagram and i was just like yeah i felt like i was like this close to panic attack or anxiety attack i don't know whatever i was just like unwell and it honestly made me feel a lot better that a lot of you guys i was confiding in my instagram stories and i was like it's come from the pandemic how overwhelmed and like anxious i get about traveling and just like worried because i'm so used to like being in my own space and like all of you guys agreed with me and were damning me being like thank god i'm like not the only one that feels this way so i was like wow you're making me feel so much better but of course as i was driving here yesterday like the freaking seven hours or whatever and thinking of all the things I forgot which was why I was so anxious in the first place that was like the cause of all that because I didn't want to forget anything important and of course I'm already thinking of things that were very important that I forgot one of which being my vlog camera battery charger and I'm so mad at myself because I literally had my extra battery charging and I was like Christian made a mental note grab it before you go and so many of you were damning me being like make lists and I used to and then I felt like I didn't have to but clearly I need to <laughs> make lists again because I forgot important thing I thought I did such a good job but yeah yesterday I was like not okay and I knew I would feel a lot better once we just got here and we're here and it's very like peaceful zen vibes here like I love the cape and I always love being with Max's family because it's always such a good time and I don't know why it's just in my head I get so anxious before I travel and like we're gonna forget things another thing we forgot which is so big when you leave your apartment is take out the trash which luckily we did the night before because we were like preparing to leave oh my god not today this camera just died I have no battery power for like the whole cape I'm gonna have to find a charger ASAP it's about to die on me again I'm gonna switch to my phone wow this quality is way worse I was just gonna say, do you think I can get away for the whole week like vlogging on my phone? No. Well, the other camera on the other side is better, but I just want... I just want to vlog my vlog camera for you guys because that's like the best quality. So, I need to figure out the charger situation. I think if I order one online, it will come in probably like three days. But I think you can only get it online. I think at Best Buy, they don't sell the charger. They just sell the camera that comes with the charger. Like, you can't buy the charger separate. So I might just have to buy a whole new camera. Honestly, maybe I should. Anyway, because I have a backup, but of course, it's in Pennsylvania. And this is like toast anyway since it's all shattered. And the front lens has like sand in it. So, maybe I need a backup to my backup. Maybe I'll just buy a new one on here. I don't know. <laughs> feeling a lot better since I'm here though. Just want to validate your feelings if you're feeling like a chicken with your head cut off and like anxious and sometimes you don't even know why and like me and my twin sister will be like we feel like we wake up sometimes with like a weight on our chest. If you feel that way you're not alone. <laughs> 
happened. I don't know where to look right now. I don't know where the camera, you're not alone. I feel that way too. And it's crazy. I won't say names obviously because like it's personal, but I cannot tell you guys how many like influencers that you probably follow too that replied to my stories yesterday being like, oh my gosh, so happy I'm not alone. I feel this way too. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You are my inspiration girl boss that does it all. I cannot even believe that you feel this way. I thought that I was only the only one. And I'm always like, Gretchen, be more like blah, 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 who has it all together and can like be world traveler and does everything. So I guess this is like a common thing. And yeah, luckily <laughs> we threw out like everything that needed to be thrown out. Like, I don't know, like old food in the fridge and stuff the night before. I think the only couple things in the trash were maybe like an old bag of chips that i threw out or like the end of like food i was eating so i'm just really hoping we're only gone for a week i'm just so hoping that it doesn't smell when i get back don't comment that you're worried for me if it's gonna smell because i'm worried enough as it is i'm worried enough for the us. i get so stressed about this thing and max so i'm like you know freaking out the whole way here and he's like talking me down he's like it's okay like it's not gonna be the end of the world it's like we're all alive healthy fine everything's good sorry this took a turn for the hectic at the end of the vlog here you can probably see my like crazy lip situation right now it's only like around the lips like it looks like i literally just lined my lips and did nothing in the middle chase and i just went to lunch and it was so nice it was honestly really nice to just be present and like in the moment i did do some instagram stories but like i just yeah didn't bring my vlog camera and it was just really nice to get lunch with her max is golfing today in a golf tournament with his dad so it's just like girls day lunch so fun wearing my cute new outfit if you guys saw my princess polly haul i also was like grinding out work on my half of the drive that i wasn't driving yesterday and i was on my computer making my thumbnail for my princess polly haul like posting the video thank god for hot spots on your phone and yeah this was like some of my cute new pieces and i'm obsessed with them wow this is long okay sorry <laughs> love you guys thank you so much for watching this vlog and i'll see you in my next one and i'll give you an update on the camera battery situation since now it's dead i'm gonna need to find a solution to this very quickly if i want to walk here <laughs> okay love you bye